Got To Be Glue Gel, and I'm also gonna use the Got To Be Glue Hairspray. So lately I've started applying the Got To Be Glue Gel using the back of an eyebrow razor. It just makes it a lot easier for me and I don't have to worry about my hands being clean and transferring some of the oil from my hands onto my skin. Next, I just go on top of that using the Got To Be Glue hairspray. And you know, as always, you want to just take a blow dryer and lightly blow dry it till it becomes tacky. You don't want it to be completely dry. And then you're gonna just lay the lace right on top of the hairspray and the gel. And this is going to be an easy flawless install it'll last you for a couple of days you can sleep in it to make it last a little bit longer just use your elastic band or tie down the hairline and you're good to go this is very beginner friendly install and this unit itself is pretty beginner friendly as well And the last step for your flawless install is always to go over it with a wax stick and a hot comb. I like to use my Faithfully Asia Beauty wax stick. I feel like it's the best wax stick out in the market. And yeah, it's mine, but that's not why I'm just saying that. <laughs> so anyway, I just use that to lay the front of the unit down. You wanna make sure you get and attack those roots so that they blend flawlessly from the lace as it comes up that helps reduce that wiggish look and then I'm just going over this using some of my Maybelline fit me powder to apply that to the part area that I did not bleach and that's pretty much all I need to do for this install and I'm just taking a big tooth comb to comb out some of these crimps
absolutely love how this turned out this hair is gorgeous and I love the waves I love the waves even before I use the waver and I love it even more after I use the waver this is my first time using this waver I've tried so many different wavers crimpers and they never really work for me this one is a bomb if you're interested in that I'll also be sure and link that in the description box down below but this is the Nadula hair HD lace in the body wave and you saw it did have a wave I'm not sure how that's gonna last once it washed a lot of times the body wave kind of lose that pretty wave to it after you wash it it still has like a slight wave but it's usually not as deep so that waiver will definitely come in handy but the texture of this unit is very pretty it's gorgeous actually i love it and this is in 24 inches i'm gonna stand up really quickly so you can see where this lands it's very long for 24 inches and this is the lace as you see i did bleach the front and it gives it like a natural look to it and then i just use the powder to fill in the part and space in the back where it wasn't bleached so dolls if you are interested in purchasing this unit as always all the information will be in the description box down below y'all gonna help me name this unit though before we leave go ahead and leave your name suggestions in the comment section down below and i did pick a name for the unit i reviewed last week the new name as well as the person who submitted that name will be listed across the screen so dolls if you found this video helpful be sure and hit that thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave and while you're at it go check out one of my other videos and it's always important until next time you guys stay blessed and if it be god's will i'll see you in my next video take care now